Hi everyone, um, Emerson here. For one, I would like to thank everyone, whether it be classmates, teachers, or parents for being here today. And I should start by addressing the obvious. Um, no, we're not graduating from a stage today, which is quite an underwhelming way to end senior year. I think I can speak for everyone here when I say that I feel robbed from the magic of senior year, from prom to senior night, to being able to say goodbye in our own terms, live and in person. Now we're graduating from Zoom High School, and some of us may never see each other again. I'm not only talking about students, but teachers as well. Teachers we may never get to say goodbye to. Teachers that, for income concerns, may find themselves moving away for next year, never being able to say goodbye to their students. The greatest tragedy is that we couldn't have seen this coming, nor can we change the circumstances we are in. What we can do, what we can all do, is remember. We can cherish the memories that we've made throughout high school. We can cherish the friends we've made along the way. The people that make us who we are. On a personal level, I definitely couldn't be here without my family, who have worked very hard under the sun to ensure that I could have a future and have supported me at every step of the way. And for that, I can never repay them. I would also like to thank my friends who have been there for me whenever I needed them. They are the most reliable people I've had the fortune of meeting. And it saddens me deeply that I can't be with them in person right now. But to all of them, thank you. Of course. I couldn't talk about people that have helped me here, be here without mentioning the awesome teachers that I've had at PV. Each and every one has taught me something about myself, about life, and have made me a better, stronger, and happier person. And the gratitude I have for that can hardly be put into words. So here we are about to start a new chapter in our lives. And I must say that high school did indeed pass by in a Zoom. Now, I must address the concern of many people that they feel that they'll never find success. To that I say, don't let society define success for you. I believe one of the best ways to approach life is simply, if you're doing what makes you happy, then you're already successful. Now, I must acknowledge that we don't live in a just society, and because most of us here are minority students, and because we're poor, we face societal obstacles that make it harder to be free and successful. These circumstances are infuriating. Anyone with a sense of justice would be angry at how society keeps the poor and downtrodden like us down. But that is the very reason we must strive to become better people, and tell society that no matter what it throws our way, that we are strong. We are resilient. In fact, we've fared through a pandemic, we've survived four years of high school, and God damn it, we are not going to let society define us. On a final note, I'd like to say that these have been a very memorable four years for me, and I can't wait for what the future has in store for all of us. Thank you.